Many of you have known me my whole life, but one thing you don't know is I was molested by Stephen Bryant on three separate occasions. You're not allowed to touch me. You're not allowed to okay. touch me. Let's talk about it in the back. No, they, this, enough of this sweeping under the rug. I was molested by a guy who was a predator amongst our midst. It could have been Ryan, it could have been just Seam, and they would have done nothing about it until there was a second witness yeah. without the two witness Let's rule. Back. Let's go, and let's talk about it in the back. This is a serious thing. If you think this is Jehovah's love, you need to ask yourself if something like this would allow it to be happening in his presence. And you guys have known me. Bob was the only guy who treated me like a human tonight, saying hi to me. Still seeing the humanity that I'm a person. Let's get into our first of our meeting. We'll have our video, Brother Dilka, would you like to come up? And it's called Never Be a Cause for Something. Hey, babe. Mm -hmm. That's, um, I see your Missy's outside. Can we just go downstairs just for a you second? Heard quite sure. A bit about stumbling earlier in the meeting, so now we're going to watch this video and we'll never be a cause for stumbling. Let's see if this here. We're gonna have to ask you to leave, but before we we ask you to leave, I know you have some real personal things on your mind, which would motivate you. To you do understand that this could have been Ryan. He had went places with that guy alone as well. Yeah. I hate that it could still be going on, and no one's doing anything about it. I would have to hunt him down by myself to get one iota of justice. How is that God's love? I can't tell you anything more, but uh, matters. Um, we're, we're just, I'm just not going to say any, anything more on, on that subject. Personal feeling does go to you on that subject because it, it cuts deep. It hurts. But it, just, just separating that from going onto the platform tonight, that, that's Two completely different things, and, and, and that cannot be allowed. No one would listen to me, and you know that. They're all told to shun me. I'm as a dead person to them. Mm -hmm. But that's the information they should know. And I, I, I just felt like, it's speak up, up while you have their attention. And it's up to them, though, Dave, if they want that information or not. It's not up to you to put it out there. Yeah. It's up to them whether or not they want that information, mm -hmm. but... It's really not, because they probably turned it off as soon as, you know, the, the programming is, most of them are terrified, probably don't know what to think when they hear something like that or speaks against the organization at all. So they're not going to ever look on their computers. We're told to stay off of websites that highlight this type of stuff. They're, I think, good-meaning people, a lot of them, but this is happening in their midst, and they have the right to know. If, if, if you had a small, you know, kid and... Have you pursued it with... with um the authorities, or yeah. yeah, Steve, I, I don't know what to tell you about that. I've called, and they're gonna ask an investigator because one of the incidents was here in Wadena, so they can. Mm -hmm. He hasn't gotten back to me yet. The first one was in New York, and the other one was in Rochester. But it, it's it's like. It's like he's a ghost. He just bounces around. Right. He never stays in one place long enough. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like it's what happened. And that, like the bold moves he made with me, you don't get there on your first time. And I think it's still going on. And I just hate it. I hate that my silence helped it. Mm -hmm. And even people who were once close to him don't know where he is. I don't know if Ryan is still in contact with no. him or not, but... No. It's like he just tumbleweeds, congregation to congregation, and you could never track him down. He's all over the country, all over the world. I would check with Ryan. And because as you, you said, I'm a father. He is my son. And that's, that's a serious matter. And, and uh, I will follow up on that just for your own well, for you as well. This goes yeah. beyond doctrine or beliefs, and I'm different in everything I believe right now. This is an issue that, the, like the two witness rule, I do feel is a policy that just needs to be done away with. Yeah, there's, there, there's these one... are types of things that no, 
does, isn't done in front of another person, you know? Right. And so it's like you have to wait for a second victim is so backwards, you know? I would do some personal investigating on this since um, uh, after you make a statement like that from the platform, you know, I have to. I hope and so. And I want to. But I, I, I want to directly sever that from this topic that we're going to discuss right now is, is, is just taking control of the meeting. Uh, it's disrespectful. Understood. And, and uh, I know you have strong feelings, but we will not tolerate it. And I didn't expect it. I knew I had yeah. seconds before I was ushered out. The next time uh, we will call the authorities and we will let them deal with you. Okay. And I am. You could call them tonight if you wanted. I mean, I, to me, this is a form of activism, mm -hmm. and it's a public forum. And until I've been I, I asked guess, to leave, I'm I not. guess we're 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 not talk whether or not we're going to revolt your privilege as being a public meeting for you. Um, is that like a? There would be no trespassing. Okay, which we're, if you don't hang up a sign is only good for thirty days. You do know that, right? Right. Yep. Yeah. But if we re personally give you a a notice of no trespassing. Uh, Verbal you, warning you, only you, it will you're, eventually you're, expire. Yeah, you're you're not welcome here though. Um, so we we want to we want to give you a warning at this moment that that uh, next time we will just call the authorities and I thank you for for just going with us and not fighting with us. Um, we appreciate you. Operating, I guess. I, I guess I did not think that you would um, out of respect for who we are and out of our respect for you, I did not want to get into a, a confrontation with you. And for as far as you three gentlemen are concerned and even some of the others up there, I just feel like I know that personal respect goes a, way, a long way as individuals, but just this organization it's got complete control of our lives, and I don't have any respect for it, and it's had control of me for 30-some years. It was time that I, even if it was disrespectful, took some control back, and it feels like even the wrongs that had been done to me and the way you're... So on your next visit here, let me ask you this. If you were to come here to a meeting again, would it be to learn? One. Two, would it be to... to uh, to work back into Jehovah's organization in a positive way, or would it be three to disrupt the meeting? If you were to come again, would it be one to disrupt the meeting, two to learn, or which will, what, what would it be if you came here again? The only thing I would want to learn at this point is if you guys actually care about the matter or just wanted to get it handled. Okay. If you just want to sweep it under the rug so everyone else can go on and pretend that they never heard that, that to me is a disservice to yourselves, to your responsibility of shepherds, that you actually care about the sheep, even the lost ones like myself. Would you talk to Peter and I? We pulled all the records out and checked them. They didn't agree with everything you said. What did they say? Could I, am I actually privy to see those? I would love, I would no, love to see no, what it's written about me. But, but we examined that, and you were asked. You said you weren't. You were asked. And, and, okay. And Tell, it, it's stated in our Let me, can, can I, I really, really would like to see that, because I was taken aback when he starts commenting. I thought, I told him to go to the elders, and I just trusted that it would be in Jehovah's hands and it would be taken care of, and he didn't even get, like, reproof where he can't comment. And that's when I realized I don't think he told them anything. And the, I remember... It's, it's pretty detailed in there. I wasn't involved the first time, but I read it. What he, he said? Peter remembered. It's all written down. So Peter, you have what Steve confessed. Both what you said, what the brothers talked with you about. What, what is it that the record even says that they talk with me about? About the incident, and, and you said what happened. And I said... What happened? I'd have to reread it. I don't remember, but it wasn't wasn't what you told Peter and I. It was what Peter said. Well, that's what we acted on then. And there's nothing more we can do about it. You see, and to me that sounds like just covering butts. Like, and I hate to say that, but I feel like you guys didn't handle it years ago, and so it's easier to just say unlimited information when the higher thing, the right thing, 
would have been to come to me like and, and fully investigate and no one cross-examined no one ever got like when you questioned me what did it say just that i had said because it wasn't nothing i don't remember that, exactly but peter said well that's all we're able to do because uh, i will tell you right now like he said it didn't equate anything to pornea when you double check did it equal pornea or was it just like i don't know did he come and confess that he had feelings for me and you guys just kind of said prayed over him with those or was it an actual that an incident happened because i distinctly and this is a detail i won't make up i'm uncircumcised and i remember him trolling up and down with my foreskin and it was awful and you can't even imagine so for to, to sound like you guys had got that information and acted on nothing if that's in that report and you still acted on nothing you should be ashamed that that's the way you handled it well whatever stated well, whatever stated in there is, it says that the brothers talked with you and you explained and it's all written down. Might, it, even, might even be your, your letter in there, I don't remember I, exactly, but I didn't look at it. But uh, If it's my own letter, then I should certainly have right to see it again. But I'll be honest too, when you asked then, it was an easy for him for me. It was easy for me to tell him go confess it because I didn't want to talk about it. This isn't something that's fun for yeah. me. This is not like, and I was so certain that once he confessed it, and he's this fellowship like I am now, and he's feeling the full weight of this. No person can bottom out like this and not feel that only God's grace could save them. I thought it was going to be handled according to Jehovah's way, and it wasn't. It was just pushed aside like. So maybe when you asked me, I don't remember exactly what I said, but I remember being starkly taken aback when he was commenting, and I was probably not as strong as I am now to take my own voice and use it, where maybe I just said, yeah, something happened, but I was hoping he had filled in more. If I wasn't as detailed as I should have been then, I regret that, because I, I just wasn't strong enough, and it's not something that's easy to say. Right. Yeah, difficult to talk about to admit to even, even that it even happened, even to say anything, especially that age. I'm going to talk with, with um, Larry and Pete and a little bit later here, my wife, um, Jerry. But we're going to have you leave now. It, 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 again, it's two different subjects, and, and, and I, I want to make clear that uh, um, I want to know from you next time you show up at our meeting are you coming here to disrupt the meeting or are you coming here to listen and learn answer me forthright I don't have any future plans to disrupt it, and I can't say where my heart will be then, but right now, I don't want to learn anything from this. I know what this, I've been reciting this stuff since I was eight years old, and it's just a little more than recital right. and recital. So your, 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 your emotions are up. If you come to the meeting, um, uh, I'm going to have two brothers, and we're going to ask you, um, what are your intentions? Um, I'm, I'm debating right now whether or not I, I, I'd like to ask you to, to just to put a no trespassing um, restriction on it. Yeah, yeah. because you, you, don't, you don't seem to have, I mean, you came here with the intent. I did. Did, did you tell Bransner's that? I did. Yeah. Well, he was talking about leaving during the song, and I, I was very thankful when I walked in that he said, "Hey, Dave, you know, like, he doesn't care about the shunning. You know, he's not going to treat me like I'm dead right. when I'm still alive. He sees me as a human being." And I thought that it takes this worldly guy in here to be like the best of humanity in this group of people who've known me since I was this big. And that's yeah. just. So if we look into this some more, do you want us to get back to you? Please, information please. I I never want to be a Jehovah's Witness again. Yeah, we know. And that. I don't want to. You don't disrupt want to be meetings one forever? Over. No. I, I, I view so you it, really don't have no need to come here anymore? You know, well, no. No, and I wanted to speak up earlier, but I thought this Roosevelt guy seems like a nice guy. I don't know him. I'm not going to disrupt his part. Mike's up there now, and out of respect, I don't want to disrupt that part. 
how about right after the song? Because it, this might sound yeah. like the spirit compelled me and I had to speak. And that was a moment where... Well, we'll hash this over and see what we can find out. I, 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 I want you to recognize one thing, David. We have enough brothers that could have manhandled. It, it could have got out of hand. And that's, and, I would and have so, loved for it to go that way. Just, just follow... Just follow feeling towards you. I hope you recognize that, that we didn't want to touch you. You're not allowed to, first of all. It's you lock arms and you walk and usher someone out. Right, right. But likewise, uh, if, if confrontation does start, yes, we are allowed to. Only if I touched you first, right? Right, right. Which I wasn't going to. My message was yeah. words, not force. So thank you for that respect. Well, I'm not back, a violent person. Back, back, back and forth. I know you're not. I'm actually but, but a very that, that, good person, but... That, that's why if you show up next time, um, don't feel offended if, if I ask your intentions. Believe me, I drew first blood and I get that tonight, okay? Yeah. Because we, we may just call the authorities just to come and have you removed. Even before I spoke up, if I was here just yeah. minding my good? Yeah, yeah. So if you come again next time, and this is your warning, is that we're going to ask you what your intentions are. And, and uh, um, we may even be just set with you, too. To be honest, you're being incredibly fair with me right now. Yeah. However, my main concern isn't, like, I don't want to come and disrupt meetings forever. This isn't my Good. goal, and I'm not going to, here we go again, isn't going to get anyone's attention yeah. the second time. But I don't want you to tell me something now, so then I leave here thinking, oh, they're on my side. They're going to help me. They're going to look into it. And then it's just long, forgotten, and then I can't come right. back. Right, I understand. I what feel you're like I want some assurances, or someone will call me, let me know what they found about Steve Bryant, and if, 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 when he's where he is, anything else, and. And two, whatever's in that file, I would like it reviewed again. Yeah. Like, it, it, if it's, it's got my yeah, words. We will, we will yeah. review it again. Yeah. It is, if it you is. have to deduct certain like information, maybe, I, I get that, but I really, like, like I said, I maybe was too weak then to say the full detail, of speak up of what was It may be your there, responsibility but. to go to authorities if you feel that you have been sexually uh, molested. I should have branch give us a very specific direction because there's a lot of legal matters. There's a lot involved, and they really are concerned about any kind of molestation. And so we got quite a bit of information on what to do when the legal department wants to be contacted. So we'll The legal department that. wants to be contacted for, and I've actually all this is in the Shepherding the Flock book, which is online, mm -hmm. and it says do not tell a victim not to go to the police, when instead it should actually say encourage, like that should, this. I know that Involving the police right away brings reproach and a lot of attention on God's name and all of that. But the organization should come second to like an instinct. You would want to err on the side of caution and protect the victim more than protect the guy who maybe won't ever have a second witness. Or what if it's not a witness child? Yeah. What if the next one never knows who an elder is to come to? You know, it could be anyone in the community. Do you know Larry, Jerry, and myself. If there is wrongdoing, you know how we would feel about it. Trust that, Dave. And but, all we can do, excuse me. But 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 we will. I I want you to know we will not stand for an incident like this again. I just want to make that point clear. And do not think that that um, aggressive steps will not be taken. Out of respect for you, Dave, um, let's just end it right here, okay? I, uh, yeah, I, I, I agree. Um, is there someone I can call just intermittently as like a, I don't want it to be completely lost and forgotten where I could say like every, if I don't hear something in two weeks, maybe you're just, what's the progress status said, report? Said Larry is, is uh, um, is familiar him and Pete went through this here and that would be the issue that you would be talking about mm -hmm. then um, if you did call anybody it would be Larry I believe you were on the committee 
Judicial Committee, weren't you? No. I don't think the really Was it a Judicial Committee with Steve? No. Or was it just like he approached some two elders? No, this is we're talking about when you were uh, removed. Um, no, it was me and... For this last... Yeah. For some reason, I want to say it was uh, us I was three. On it and I think you, you and you, I know for sure. And I think Peter recused Peter. himself and Joe couldn't because of the family tie. I think it was you. Yeah. But in any scenario, the stuff to Steve Bryant happened when um, I was already disfellowshipped, but he lived in the apartment behind me, and I told him Why don't you make, us to make, go. Make, make contact with us with a letter? Okay. If you, if, if, if you do. And... Uh, and the second time it happened, you should know Ryan was actually in the room. It was in the bed next door, or we were bunking up for the convention. Me and Steve Bryant in one bed trying to save money. What city? Rochester, Minnesota. The convention of Jonah's baptism. Jonah was baptized the next day, and him and Ryan shared this bed. And I was just so thankful that, well, today... Steve it, Bryant and Ryan shared Steve Bryant and me. And you. And that's when the second time it happened to me. And then Jonah and Ryan were off in a separate bed, and I wanted to scream so bad. I thought, if I just cause a scene, right now there's enough of us here, I could do something, but I was so powerless. And I thought, for sure, like, I just thought, Jonah's getting baptized tomorrow, but at least the intention will be on him, and I can just go through the day invisible. I just wanted that. I was actually going to go out, and I actually went out and talked to Missy, I, because I seen the lights on in the car, and then the wife was in the car. Mm -hmm. I was going to actually go out there, out there and invite her in, and I felt pretty positive about what that you were here, and and I'm really sad about what has happened tonight. And I'm sad about it too. I really wish it didn't have to come to this, but and you guys, I know you're not going to, but I can't leave without feeling like it's the right thing to say. Is if you've ever like do some research on the history. I mean, you guys were probably all there in 1975, but there's a lot of sites that if God's word is truth, that truth shouldn't change. And a lot of this new light just keeps the end, this, like, it's putting it off and it's keeping control over people that it... Okay, I'm going to ask you to leave right now then. JWFacts.com. It, it's got a lot of information using only the Watchtower's own literature, cross-examining by its own words and things it's typed. I love you. I'm proud of you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>